All right, so we are about to start with the one-on-ones on July 29th, session from 10 to 10.10. 10.
Hey, Andrea. Hi, teacher. Okay. Hey, hey. Thank you very much for being on time. Excellent. <laughs> so tell me, what can I do for you? Yeah, I only have two questions. Mm -hmm. The first one, since I didn't uh, assist to the, the first class, I don't really have the idea that what is, up, uh, what is the evaluation method for this course. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the other one? And the other one is, are we going to have vacations ne next week? I love the second question. Okay, so let me go ahead and, and, and start with the second question. Yes, we are. Okay. Uh-huh. Yes, we are. Uh, we're going to have vacations from Monday to Friday. Okay, perfect. And as far as how the evaluation is going to be done, I'm going to show you how. Okay. Do you have access to the platform? Yeah. Okay, great. So pretty much every single class we have is going to be uploaded. Okay, so if for some reason you missed the class, you can come right here. You click on video conferencia numero uno and the topic, and you will be able to watch the video again. Okay, so this is like a backup for you. Now, once we have this, after every single class, there is a homework assigned, and this is where your progress is gonna be measured in the platform. Okay. Okay, so give me a second. My computer is acting up right now. It's a little bit lazy lately, I don't know why. I'm gonna have it checked this weekend. So, as you know, here you're gonna have video conferencia, and uh, we're gonna have a discussion. I'm not sure. I have to uh, work with text. Ah, here it is. Now it is appearing. It wasn't appearing okay. before. So, part of your duties, Andrea, is that if you want to watch the video, go ahead. If you missed something or let's say that there is a topic that you don't really understand, write down the minute. Also, it's going to be one hour and 20 minutes after the class is started. That would okay. be 9.20. And you can come here one hour, 20 minutes, you play, and you can uh, review what was being done. Any questions with this? None. Good. So after every class, and this is one of your responsibilities, is that you have to participate in the forum. Okay, I saw that, but I didn't uh, find the, like the main quest in this, in this uh, forum. Mm -hmm. No encontré la publicación suya. <laughs> ah, okay, yeah, that's, a, mm, that's a good question. Let me see, show all posts. You know so what? I didn't That's have like very... the idea of mm. what what was I going to, what was I supposed to? You are do. totally, totally, totally right. Yep. Let me go ahead and write it down. I'm gonna write it down on on in a word document. Students can't see the main uh, post discussion forum okay thank you very much I can't either actually <laughs> I cannot find it okay and yesterday there was no no uh, no forum because it wasn't active for some reason okay. so I'm gonna post one today okay so now you know that you have the, the video, always try to do this. I'm gonna try to do it at the end of the class, except on Wednesdays, because I have this. And you gotta answer it no later than 5 p.m. the next day, okay? Normally these are easy questions. What are the advantages and disadvantages of e-commerce, for example, okay? That's, that's the one. And right after this in every single class, um, you got to click here in Tarea and you got to do the, the, the homework. This is really easy. Most of them is multiple choice. Okay. So my recommendation, do it right after the class so you don't forget and you have the ideas fresh. This, Andrea, is what is going to mark your progress. 
Okay. This is your progress right here. I was looking for uh, yesterday's homework, mm -hmm. but I didn't find it here. So. It's here. It's right after video conferencia numero dos. Yeah, it's right click after. On the, yeah, click and see here? what. No, or in here. the tarea. Okay. Yeah. This is the one. This was yesterday's. Ah, uh, no. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So your progress is being measured here and also in a midterm exam and a final exam. Okay. Which is on the platform. Mm -hmm. And how many attempts do I have to? As many as until you get the hundred. If you want to try it 10 times, go for it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. So when do you have to do this? Uh, before every, car, every class. After. After every class. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> yeah. Exactly. Why? Because InstaForp actually is requesting us to send a report on students' progress every Friday. Okay. So if you haven't done anything, InstaForp is going to receive zero progress by each Friday. Okay. Good. So you got five more minutes. Any other question you may have? Vocabulary, what's the difference between... Uh, watch look and see for example i don't know no yet no 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 i'm okay, okay. Yeah. understood so um again you're doing great thank you very much always with the camera on with the full name displayed uh make sure you don't miss classes you already missed one yeah so try not to do it all right and okay. that's it if that's all for you then that's all for me Thank you, teacher. You're good welcome, night. Andrea. Have a very good night. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.
Hello. Hello, Gladys. Thank you very much. All right. So I'm here. You got me until pretty much 10.50. Tell me, what can I do for you? Um, I have a question about a word that I heard on an interview. Mm -hmm. It was they were talking about diets and the word was crack. The, the interviewer said, do you ever crack? But I, I don't understand the, the meaning of the word. And she said, yes, do I... Ever? That do you ever crack? And and she said mm -hmm. that like they were talking about food, mm -hmm. and she she was saying that she ate a lot of food, but I don't I don't understand very okay. clear that the word. That's an idiom that I have not actually heard, but let's go ahead and look for it. <clears throat> I'm sorry. So you're saying that this is an idiom when talking about food, right? I don't know if it's if mm -hmm. an idiom. Yeah, let me look for it because do you ever crack? Are you sure that this would, I'm pretty sure that you, did you write it down to know how it's written? Uh, no, I, I don't know because they, they were just speaking. I didn't have the subtitles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, in this case, in this context, I'm looking for it because do you ever crack with CK, crack with G is something totally different. Give me a sec. While I do this, is there any other question you might have? Hello? Yes, I look for it. Um, only that. Yeah, only that. I, I said only. Mm -hmm. Because crag is actually like a cliff. It's como un risco, un peñasco. If we are talking about C R A G, right? And then crack is, you know, something that is broken, something that has like grietas. Mm, so, okay. uh, uh -huh. I might need to look into that. I don't have it right now. Got to do some research. And I'm going to try to give it to you by tomorrow before the class or text me. But like in Spanish, I mean, there are some sayings that we don't know it even in Spanish. So in English, it's yeah. the same. It depends on your reality if you actually use that as part of your life. Mm -hmm. okay. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and look for it. Sorry not being able to answer this question. because I don't even know the mm -hmm. exact word. Anything else? That yeah, I yeah. Okay. Hello? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Anything else that I might be able to help you? Mm, that's the only question that I have right now, actually. Mm, give me a second. I think that I have another one, but it's not about, about food. Is that craving, actually? Because I have a cravings is antojo. That's the only mm -hmm. one that I can relate, which is C-R-A-V-E or craving. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, I'm uh -huh. sure that I had a crack, but I, I don't know because, yeah. Mm -hmm. It can be something like, do you ever um, crave, actually? If you got it like this, let me write it down in the chat here. Um, maybe, yeah, the pronunciation uh -huh. is different because uh -huh. they were really... Yeah, it could be. Uh-huh. And in these cases, do you ever crave? Now, craving is antojos, right? Antojo. So, do you ever crave? I don't... It's like if you really wish or if you really want something. So I can ask you, for example, do you ever crave for, what's your favorite food or, or uh, mm. fast food? Uh, pizza and pupusas. Okay, so know. 
do you ever crave for pupusas? It's like, oh my God, I really want to eat some pupusas. I got to go right now. I really want to eat pupusas. So, como que te dan un antojo, un deseo fuerte. Si es así, mm -hmm. do you ever crave? Eso es lo único relacionado con comida que pueda pensar. Entonces, que si okay. algunos, que si tenés, eh, perdón, antojos de algo, un deseo así, como generalmente cravings, como te mencionaba, craving es un antojo. Do you ever crave? Supposedly, women, when they are pregnant, they crave. Mm. So, they really have a big desire of eating something in particular. And it can be related to other topic, crave for someone, is that you really want to be with that someone. Do you have a husband or a boyfriend? No, I don't. Okay. I don't know if I should say congratulations or I'm sorry, but I'm pretty sure <laughs> that you got that answer. Okay, Let's say okay. that if you had a best friend, do you crave? Do you ever crave for your best friend? Like, can yeah, I say that with that person? Yes. Context. For someone and for food. Okay. Okay, I okay. get it. Sorry, that was a difficult one, but I know I understand why you didn't have neither the writing or the right pronunciation. But finally, mm -hmm. we got I, it. Yeah, thanks. You're welcome, Gladys. Anything else? Um, what was the meaning again of the word of shift, shift back? To shift back is to change of something uh, prior. Shift. To like, change? Change is pretty much the same. Have you ever seen the button on your keyboard shift? La tecla shift? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cambia, vea. Si tú apretas shift y la letra A, te puede salir que la mayúscula. Por ejemplo. Oh, okay. So, un shift es un cambio. So, shift back es cambiar a algo anterior. Oh, I got it, I got it. Context. English is very, yeah. very, very nice in these things. Yeah. In a context, it can mean something like crave for someone or crave for food. Okay. Mm -hmm. Got it. Any other question? Just let me know. Mm, just that. Yeah. Just only those questions. Okay. So, would you mind giving me an example of craving for a type? of uh, food in particular mm. what do you crave for i crave for um, i crave for for kiwis in the mornings oh nice nice a very uh, mm. sour fruit okay you got it and um can you give me an example with shift what you shift? can use it as a verb as a verb. Mm, that's more difficult. <laughs> yeah. Do sense. you do you drive? Do you know how to drive standard? No, no, I have never drive. You have never driven. Have you ever seen the, the bus drivers? Like they go like this. <laughs> so that's a shift. You can also shift. First gear, shift to second gear, shift to third gear. Como cambiar velocidades. Es un cambio. Oh, ok. Mm -hmm. Ok, ok, ok. All right. Perfect, Gladys. Thank you very much for being here. And if you have any other question, I still got eight minutes. If not, I wish you a good night. And I want to and I want to thank you for being here. Ok, that's all. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, Gladys. Have a very good night. Take care. Good night. Welcome. Bye-bye.